poem is called Andaman Sea. It's about my grandfather, who is Todd. <clears throat> Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can almost taste the brine of the Andaman Sea, burning to clarity in my sciences. For a moment, the world is still warm. As the tide washes memories onto the sands of my ancestors, for a moment, I understand why you left. Some people are selkies, bound like clockwork to the sea. And no locked up seal skin can dole the song of the Andaman Sea. No blood, no visitation weakens, nor ice cream cones at the park can dole, dim the call of the Andaman Sea. And maybe I can't see across the Pacific, or send a Father's Day card to the equatorial sun. Maybe the streets of Belton, Missouri, don't whisper the faint scent of coconut on a hot day. When you left, you left the silhouette of a patriarch. You left two children with a cardboard cutout of southeastern heritage and a textbook definition of what it means to be biracial. When you left, you stripped away culture and left only skin. Some days I pour over travel books and wonder what you'd cook for your family for dinner or what stories our ancestors passed down to their children. But now it's too late and your legacy was scrubbed down the drain by Midwestern grandparents who strived for years to make sure that their grandchildren were one thing only. What? And yet, sometimes, when the same stars that shine on high beaches are glow in the Rocky Mountain sky, I picture the Andaman Sea, perfect in its stillness. And I understand why you left. <laughs>